Hare Krishna. To decrease unhealthy reactions, increase healthy reminders. Suppose we are facing a situation where we have impulsive reactions that are unhealthy. Say, uh, as soon as we see some food, we just grab it and consume it. And thus we become obese, we spoil our health and our figure. And we want to avoid these reactions. Now many times we may resolve that I don't want to do this. But we just do it without even realizing that we are doing it. So how can we avoid it? Now for us to avoid such unhealthy reactions, we need healthy reminders. Within us is our mind and our mind contains many programs or impressions which function like programs and those impressions pop up and when those impressions pop up as propositions within us come on eat this come on drink this come on watch this so suppose uh, <coughs> we have that the, the come up within us and as soon as they come up we immediately succumb to it so to avoid this what do we do we need to recognize that these are propositions that are coming from the mind and that they are that we don't have to accept them that actually they they are not us they are different from us that they are propositions which we can evaluate and their propositions especially if by past experience we know that they are bad they are the propositions that we should reject so for that what do we need to do we need now our intelligence can remind us but sometimes our intelligence doesn't get activated fast enough and to, to activate our intelligence to remind ourselves that these propositions are counterproductive we need healthy reminders so how do we get, so suppose uh, if we wherever we had food hmm, and if we, if we had some food in our drawer or in our fridge and we went there to eat and if on that fridge we had a reminder oh, overeating ruins your health and your figure and makes you miserable if you would read that just reading that would actually act at least as a deterrent you would get a second thought should I eat or should I not eat so now these are reminders which you can put externally what are we doing by this we are actually using our intelligence to make tangible markers tangible products which we can use to resist our impulses so the Bhagavad Gita recommends such intelligence, uh, the use of such intelligence to resist indulgence. In 3.43 it says, Evam buddhe param buddhva samsthabhyatmanam atmana jahishatrum mahabaho kamarupam durasadam It says, self-destructive desire can be overcome by using our intelligence. Evam buddhe, but Krishna says use intelligence in a particular way. Param Buddha, know that you are higher, you are transcendental. Samsthabhyatmanam Atmana, and just situate yourself on the spiritual platform. So, that means don't just remind yourself that this behavior is bad. Remind yourself that uh, we can remind ourselves that we are better than this. That we are not our impulses, we are not our behaviors. That we are better than those impulses which come upon us. That we are souls, we are parts of Krishna. And we are meant for a better life. So if we remind ourselves to pray to Krishna, say for example, whenever impulse comes up within us, then we, wherever we go to indulge in that impulse, if there we have kept some reminder that no, you are not a glutton, you are a part of Krishna, pray to Krishna, then that can help us to resist the impulse to oh, binge. And similarly, now we don't have to keep these reminders uh, only at uh, when the impulses come up for us. Even when those unhealthy reactions that we identify with the impulse and give it to the impulse, they come up. We can actually uh, keep getting these reminders regularly. How? By making healthy, by, by creating systems that remind us. So we may, if we read scripture regularly, daily if we read some scripture, 
that can create a reminder for us. If there are some memorable verses, if there are some memorable quotes which are insightful for our particular vulnerability, then we can make a plan to repeat them regularly. We can, if we are using technology, we can have those pop up as reminders on our phones or our laptops. And thus, by now because technology gives us and temptations that trigger unhealthy responses, we can use the same technology also to create healthy reminders for ourselves. And when we thus use our intelligence to create healthy reminders for ourselves, we can pursue the path of holistic health and happiness. Thank you. Hare Krishna.